Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make the super cute little Mr. and Mrs. Claus couple. They're made out of a little four inch styrofoam cone. You can get those at Hobby Lobby. If you can't get one of those cones, you can take a bigger cone and just cut the top of it off. We're also going to make their little dog tinsel. If you want to how to make them, stick around. I show you how. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Okay, for this one, we're just going to take one of these little Christmas tree styrofoam cones. I got these at Hobby Lobby, and we're just going to roll the end of it to kind of flatten it out just a little bit. Didn't want it as flared. And I'll give you a list for all the supplies and the, and the patterns in the description below. If you can't find that cone, you can just cut the top part off of another cone. We're just going to go ahead and attach it to a circle, and the circle is just going to be a little bit bigger than the cone, so we can cut some slits all the way around it and glue it up to the side so you do not see the styrofoam underneath the outfit. This is the body. We're just going to glue down one side, fold it over, and make a cone. And then we're going to go ahead and take some glue and just glue all the way around there and push all those little tabs all the way up. And this is the Santa Claus that we're building right now. Okay, next we're going to take the body and we're just going to turn it right side out. And then we're going to cut about a half inch off the top here. And then just go ahead and pull it on down. Okay, next I'm just going to take some glue and just go all the way around just to glue this in. Okay, next we're going to take some yarn, and I'm using um, Yarn Bees Fur the Love, and I'm just going to put a trim all the way around the bottom of this. Okay, next we're going to make the hat, and we're just going to place our pattern on the fold of the fabric, and that's how you're going to cut it out. Now make sure you have the same side of your fleece as your body, and then we're just going to glue down one side and fold this over. Okay, then we're just going to cuff it up about an inch all the way around before we turn it right side out, and then just glue that in. All right, next, turn it right side out. And then we're going to put it aside and we're going to do the beard. Now, I'm cutting my beard at one and a half inches wide by two inches long. And then we're just going to go in a U shape all the way around behind the faux fur only and back up the other side. And just clean the excess off. Arms, we're just going to cut a pipe cleaner in half and fold it in half. And then we're going to take a three inch long by one and a half inch piece of fabric and we're going to attach our bead to the end and then our pipe cleaner down the side. Now I cut my pattern a little bit shorter after I rolled it up. It was a little bit beefy, but I went ahead and gave you the correct size in the pattern. And just roll it up and overlap the back part. And then just go ahead and make sure that bead's glued in there real well. And do the same thing for the opposite side. Now when we get to the Mrs. Claus, she's going to have pretty much the same stuff. So a lot of it I'm not going to go right through. She'll have these exact same arms. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and measure down one and a quarter inches from the top. And that's where we're going to put our beard. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a belt. Now you could have done this before you did the beard. I'm just using a half inch by three quarter inch piece of glitter foam and some black foam that's quarter inch. And I'm just going to start right at the um, about half inch up from the um, fur. And I'm just going to go ahead and attach this and go all the way around. And I'm going to tuck the black part underneath that part. So don't glue the whole gold part down because you need to have a lip open on the opposite side just to glue that black part underneath it. Just kind of stretch it as you go. And again, you could have done this before you did the beard. Okay, next we're just going to attach the arms. Just make sure that your seam on the back of the arm is facing the body. And just wrap a rubber band around the top part there and the arm. And we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. And then we're going to come in with our hot glue gun and we are going to glue behind that arm, right behind where that rubber band is attached. 
just to glue those in. Then we're going to come in with a piece of string and we're going to tie around there and tie that off. Now tie it kind of tight. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and take a pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and put it up on top of the hat, and then just glue the bottom down. Just make sure the curved part is at the tip of the hat. Okay, now we're just going to do that same fur, and we're just going to wrap this right around the bottom part of the hat. Just make sure you get it low enough on there so that you don't see any of the red below it. And then just cut that off and glue it down. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of stuffing, just very little stuffing, just so it has a little meat at the front part of the hat. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start gluing it in. So glue in the back first. And then we're going to glue in the sides. Now don't glue the front yet because we still have to put the bead for the nose in there. Just on both sides. And then we're going to turn it over and kind of finish out the back area. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and attach the nose. We're just going to put a little bit of glue there, pull the hat back a little bit, and attach the nose. And then you can go ahead and start gluing the sides in and glue the top part of the nose to the hat. Okay, next we're going to take that same yarn and we're just going to kind of start rolling it up, glue it and roll it, and we're going to make a pom-pom for the tip of his hat with this same fur. Just kind of glue it as you roll it because you want it to stay together. Then once you get it as thick as you want it, just go ahead and cut it off and then we'll attach it to the tip of the hat. Take that same yarn and we're just going to wrap it around the, the end of his sleeve, right up by his little hand. And then we're going to come back in after we get this all glued in and we're just going to kind of thin that out just a little bit with some scissors because it was a little bit thick. Just kind of giving it a little bit of a haircut, just kind of getting it a little bit closer to his sleeve. Next, we're going to do the same thing for the other arm, and then we're going to trim it as well. Okay, then we're going to put him aside and we're going to start the Mrs. Claus. We're going to build her the same exact way we did the Mr. Claus at the beginning, but her dress is going to be a little bit longer. And I've modified the pattern from what I'm showing you here so it is correct. Go ahead and turn it right side out. And then we're going to cut three quarters of an inch off the top. Pull it on over and then pull it on down. Now pull it on down because this is going to be a dress, not just a top like his was. And then I just wanted to make sure that the fur covered up that little bump, and it did, and then go ahead and glue it in. And then we're going to start doing the trim. Now I'm coming down two inches from here, but you want to come down a little bit farther because it did um, interfere with the nose. So I would come down at least probably three inches and then start my fur. And we're just going to go straight down the front and all the way around her dress. And just make sure as you're going around there that you're not pulling it real tight because you don't want to draw it in at all. Just kind of lightly put it around all the edge. Okay, next we're going to do the arms. I'm just going to kind of fly through this a little bit because it's exactly like the Santa Claus's arms. You're still going to use the three inch long by one and a half inch wide, the same bead, and the pipe cleaner. Just roll it up and then we're going to put the fur on this one as well. And then after you get the fur on, be sure and trim it up. And then same thing with the hat. We're going to do the hat the same way. Go ahead and cuff it up after you've glued it together. We're going to cuff it up about an inch and then just go ahead and glue it down. Now we're going to decorate her, house, her hat a little bit different from his. And 
and turn it right side out. Okay, next we're going to do the little pigtails. We're going to cut a piece of faux fur two and a half inches in length by one and a quarter inches wide. And we're going to split this between the two pigtails. So just mark the center of that. And then just going to go ahead and cut straight down the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and attach them right to her body. Just on both sides of where you put that fur straight down the middle. And then we're going to do the same thing with the opposite side. And I have another piece of hair there, but I didn't end up using it. Next, we're going to go ahead and take these little um, dot jewels that I got at um, Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to wrap them around the bottom part of her hat. And they had enough sticky on them to stick to this fleece, so I didn't add any extra glue. And then I just pulled that off, and then I stuck another bead in the middle because it was going to end up overlapping if I didn't. Okay, next we're going to do the same thing we did with his hat. We're just going to put a little bit of stuffing in the front part and go ahead and put her hat on. And then we're going to attach her nose. Now, this is where I was telling you, you want to go ahead and pull your fur three inches down when you actually attach it because it did interfere with her nose. Okay, next I'm doing a little pom-pom just like I did his, and we're just going to attach it right to the tip of her hat. Okay, then I'm taking some little rubber bands and I'm just going to give her some little pigtails. Now, when you attach the little bow, you're going to make a couple little bows. When you attach the bow, just attach it above the rubber band. Don't touch the hot glue to the rubber band or your rubber band will pop. Okay, after this, we're going to do the shoes, and we're going to do all four shoes, her two and his two, exactly the same way, and I'm going to show you how to do one of them. Okay, we're going to take two quarter inch by six inch sticks, and we're going to sharpen them, and then we're going to bring them in, and we are going to cut them at three and a quarter inches from the tip. Go ahead and cut them off. And then we're going to cut, we're going to mark them at one and three quarter. Now, I'm showing two on here, but you're going to mark it at one and three quarter. Then we're going to take two um, 15 by 15, 16 inch weights, and we're just going to attach them to the bottom. You don't have to glue them in. And we're just going to take some foil, and we're going to wrap around up to that mark that you made. Don't go above the mark that we just drew. And just roll it up and make sure it's rolled up where you have it on the bottom and the sides, and it's pretty tight. And then just make sure it's pretty flat on the bottom because we want to make sure that they stand up well. Next, I'm going to just take some oven baked clay and I'm going to cut it so it is um, one and three quarter inches tall because we're just trying to cover where the foil is. Just kind of put it on your measuring board and just go ahead and cut it. And then we're just going to cut that piece in half. Just kind of cut it in half and then we're going to roll this around our pieces. Just make sure you don't go above that line that you drew. And then just smooth it out. You want to make sure you spend some time rolling this out and smoothing it out. And then you're going to do this. When you finish this one, you're going to do the same thing with his other um, shoe and her too. And then just go ahead and seal in the bottom. Just make sure it's completely covered where you don't see any foil and it is smoothed out. Now make sure that you spend some time getting it flat because you don't want it to, to have a balance issue because you have don't have a flat bottom. And then just roll the sides to kind of smooth them out. But just make sure the bottom is flat. And then we're going to bake these at 275 degrees for 15 minutes once you get all four of them done. Okay, now we're going to make the toe. We're just going to roll up a, about a three-quarter inch ball. And then we're going to flatten it out. And we're just going to cut a piece off the front and the back where it's curved. And we're just going to push it on to our shoe. So just push it on there. And then we're going to smooth it in where you don't see any of the lines on there. And I'm just going to use my fingers at first. And then I'm going to come back in with a little brush. And I'm just going to kind of brush it in. Just spend a little bit of time on this. You can get this pretty smooth, but you want to spend some time on this. And then after you get all of them done, you're going to bake them again in the oven for 275 degrees for 15 minutes.
we're going to start building the legs, we're just going to take a two and a half inch wide by one and a half inch long piece of fabric and we're just going to wrap it around his boot and then glue it off in the back. And just start at the very top part of the boot. And make sure that they're both even before you glue the second one in. Okay, next we're just going to take some of the same fur and we are going to place it all the way around the, the base part of the boot. And then we're going to trim this one out like we did the arms as well. And then do the same thing for the second boot. And then be sure and trim it off as well once you get done wrapping that around there. Okay, go ahead and test your sticks. If they come out when you pull on them, go ahead and glue them in before we attach it to the body. That one actually held. And then we're going to take our body and we are just going to cut two slits on each side evenly spaced. And that's where we're going to attach our legs. Now make sure that your legs are um, even before you uh, glue it in. Make sure he stands up good. And then go ahead and pull them back out and we're just going to glue them right into the body. And then we're going to attach his little pom-pom um, to his hat. Next we're going to do the same thing with Mrs. Claus. We're going to go ahead and cut two holes in the bottom to put her legs. Make sure that they stand up good. And then we're going to attach some of that trim to the bottom of her shoes. So don't glue them in yet. And we're going to just go ahead and put it right up at the tip top. And we're going to wrap it around three times. So just put glue down it a little bit and then just wrap it around three times just towards the top part and then cut that off and glue it in. And then do the same thing with the second one. And if you ever have a balancing issue once you get all this done, you can just put a little piece of craft foam on the heel and it usually fixes all that. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and attach them straight to the body. And then we're gonna attach her hat to her, her pom pom to her hat as well, just like we did on him. Next we're going to make their little dog. We're going to take a one and a half inch cork and we're going to take some fur that's three inches wide by two inches in length. And we are just going to glue our cork in. Now glue your cork down to the very bottom part of that fur because we need the top part to be a little bit open so that we can complete it out. And then go ahead and pull that fur back. We're going to go bead right down the center and then we're going to squeeze those two opposite sides together. Okay, next we're just going to put some glue right in the center and we are just going to push this in and this is going to be the top part of him. And then just comb him out. And then we're going to pull some hair up at the very tip top and that's going to be some hair for the top of his hair. And then we're going to put his little um, ears on. We're just going to take a little um, triangle, two little triangles, and they're probably about an inch. And we're just going to cut those out and that's going to be for his uh, little ears. and then go ahead and clean the excess fur off. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pull that hair up in the very top and we're gonna put a little rubber band around it just to kind of hold it straight up. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and attach our little ears right up to the top edge of that, um, those, where the little hair sticks up. Just kind of flat up there at the top. And then we're going to come back in here in a second and glue the other part. We're going to glue it all the way down. Just go up underneath there and glue that down. And then we're going to take a little ribbon and we're just going to tie it in a bow. And we're going to glue it right in front of where the hair is sticking up. Now don't glue it to the rubber band or you will pop your rubber band just right in front. Okay, next I'm taking a piece of craft foam and I'm just going to cut in a U shape to make the tongue. Now I did trim mine off a little bit before I actually glued it in so you can have it however long you want. Just kind of split the hair right down the middle so you can open it up. 
And that's where we're going to attach our little tongue. And then we're just going to put that uh, black nose right above it, but overlapping it. And then when I stood him up, his hair was a little bit long, so I'm just going to go ahead and start trimming off just a little bit. I probably cut off maybe half an inch. And that's it. That was pretty easy. Okay, if you like these kind of videos, hit like. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have a new video upload, be sure and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.